Hi there, welcome back to TechEye. Today's video is all about the Android 12 Pixel ROM for me at all devices. This one in my hands is a Redmi Note 9S or Note 9 Pro India. I reviewed Android 12 AOSP ROM by Notabot69 and that ROM was just AOSP but this one is feature packed. This ROM has been ported from Pixel 5a by Henlo Boy. You can download this ROM from the link in description and also get the flashing instructions. So let's start the video. So as I told this is a Pixel 5a port so you get all the Pixel features with Android 12. You get always on display even though most Mutual devices have LCD displays so it's not recommended to use AOD. You get full material U theming which was either absent or not working properly on AOSP ROMs. You get mic and camera access blockers in the quick settings which was not working properly on AOSP ROM. The weather in both at a glance and on the lock screen is working properly. The overall UI and UX of Android 12 which was quite raw on AOSP looks polished and pleasant. You can also notice the GS text font here. Since Android 12 is he heavily centered on privacy and security, especially with Pixel phones, you also get all Android 12 privacy features with this build, such as mic and camera access blocking, like I said earlier, private compute core, show clipboard access, and restricting Android system to access app content. Quick tap is available but doesn't seem to be working now. There's an option in accessibility setting that lets you enable bolder text to increase legibility. Also the color correction menu has a new UI. You can also remove the animations from this toggle if you want. The sound amplifier and sound notification feature are also present. By default, you get the AOD turned on, so if you are experiencing battery drain, make sure to turn it off by going to settings, display, lock screen and turn off this toggle. The auto rotate now uses your face to determine when to rotate the screen. There are a couple of Google apps pre-installed like Gmail, Chrome, Pixel Tips and Sound Recorder along with YouTube and YouTube Music but there's no camera app, not even that snap camera. Well who needs that anyways when you can install Gcam later. However when I tried to install Gcam version 6.2 it didn't work. Now let's talk about some performance. This build is quite stable prima facie i have only used it for two days so i can't say much but i didn't find anything wrong with it the battery however is moderate not very impressive sometimes the app opening and closing animation feels laggy but overall it's okay and not very noticeable as far as games are concerned i played temple run and it freezes a lot so was alien shooter so i think you shouldn't install this rom if you are a gamer as compared to aosp this rom and especially this build is better but if you want to use it as your daily driver you should wait a bit more the se linux in this build is permissive which means system is not very secure but the ui and material u and the pixel features make it quite hard to leave this room. I hope you like this video so be sure to hit like and subscribe.